In this video, we're going to look at how to expand two brackets. So an example would be expanding x plus 3 bracket x plus 8. So to do this, what we need to do is multiply what's in the x plus 8 bracket by both terms in the x plus 3 bracket. Some teachers call this FOIL. So for instance, x times x, well, x times x is x squared. Then you do x times 8, well, x times 8 is 8x or positive 8x. 3 times x, well 3 times x is plus 3x. And finally, 3 times 8. And 3 times 8 is equal to 24, so plus 24. So we have multiplied each term in the x plus 8 bracket by the x, and also both terms in the x plus, uh, x plus 8 bracket by the 3. Now finally, we just need to simplify this. We have got x squared, but 8x plus 3x is 11x's. So plus 11x plus 24 and that's it so expanding x plus 3 bracket x plus 8 we would get x squared plus 11x plus 24 now a second ago I mentioned the term foil that's called firsts outers inners and lasts now I don't, I don't sort of call it this whenever I'm doing it, I just expand it, but if you were to do that, let's just show you why, because we had x plus 3 and x plus 8. Well, x times x, well that's the firsts multiplied together. Next we've done x, plus, or x times 8, and x times 8, well that's the outers, the two outer terms. Then we done 3 times x, well they would be the inner terms, and then 3 times 8, they're the last terms. So that's where the, the term FOIL comes from. Okay, let's have a look at another question now. So, here we have got, we've been asked to expand, x plus 5, x plus 3. So, x times x is x squared. x times minus 3 is minus 3x. 5 times x is plus 5x. And 5 times minus 3, well, positive times a negative is a negative, so 5 times minus 3 would be minus 15. Uh, then we just need to simplify the two middle terms, so it would be x squared minus 3x plus 5x, well, minus 3 plus 5 is 2, so it would be plus 2x minus 15. And that's it. So that's how you would expand x plus 5, x minus 3. Okay, let's have a look at another example. This time, we're going to expand bracket x minus 4, bracket x minus 7. So, x times x is x squared, and x times minus 7, well, that would be minus 7x. Then minus 4 times x, well, it would be minus 4x. And then finally, now I need to be careful here, minus 4 times minus 7. Well, a minus times a minus is a plus, so that would be plus, and 4 times 7 is 28. Now we just need to simplify. So we've got our minus 7x's take away 4x's. Well, set, uh, minus 7 take away 4 is minus 11. So it'd be minus 11x plus 28. That's it. Okay, we've got two more examples. This time we're going to expand uh, two brackets, but where the number in front of the x isn't a 1. So 2x times 3x. Well, 2 times 3 is 6, and x times x is x squared. So that would be 6x squared. 2x times 5, well, 2x times 5 is 10x, so plus 10x. 1 times 3x, well, that's 3x, so plus 3x. And finally, 1 times 5, and 1 times 5 is 5. And we just need to add the two terms in the middle, so we're going to get 6x squared plus 13x, because 10x plus 3x is 13x, plus 5. And our last example. Our last example is to expand x plus 3 squared. Now, remember squared means multiplied by itself. And if that's ever beside a bracket, write the bracket beside itself. Because we have to multiply the bracket by itself. So, we're going to do x times x is x squared. x times 3, which would be plus 3x. Three, 3 times x, which is plus 3x. Three and 3 times 3, which is plus 9. The 3x plus the 3x in the middle will become 6x. So, you're going to get x squared plus 6x plus 9. And that's it. So if you ever have a squared beside a bracket, what you need to do is to write the bracket out twice and then expand using foil. And that's it. So that's how to expand two brackets.